Hi all. Um, right, so today's quite an interesting um, video for me. Um, I'm going to say this again because I have to save time because quite a lot of people, this is the only video I've seen, but for the last six months I've been working on, um, I'll grab one, professional as ever. I've been working on these rigs, some of you know. Um, started off with Xiaomi Yi's, uh, great little rigs. Uh, people buy the cameras themselves, um, but I, uh, on Shapeways, I have a Shapeways page with this design for the rig so they can go off and use them. I'll do a whole load, I won't get into details. Anyway, um, so I've kind of moved on to the 4K camera. They're not quite 4K, but they're pretty much. Uh, they get two cameras, and this is a new rig. We call it ProRes range. I'll get my speech impediment sorted out, the ProRes range. So it's oh, miss, missing cameras, don't worry about it. Right, actually, <laughs> cameras, this is an interesting one. Get two cameras. Uh, I can't get any. Um, probably two or three weeks delay, so sorry about that. Um, but this is to do with the, the earthquake in Japan because they get Sony sensors and I was hit by it. Anyway, so that's not what I'm telling you about, um, but I want to give you so you know what I'm doing. Um, you see on the screen here, there you go, up there. <laughs> Uh, the Duet camera. Now, some of you know I've I've had some control software that I wrote some time ago, and um, it would turn the cameras on and off. It works with both the Git2 based ones and the Xiaomi based ones. But I've also been talking about and the um, live stitching software. Um, and I mean, ultimately, that's what my the the, the end goal was. And I've made quite, uh, as some of you know, I've had some massive problems with mathematics. I'm not, my brain's not what it was. And even when it was what it was, it wasn't very bright. So I've kind of struggled a bit on this. Um, but I made a breakthrough today. Uh, I want to share that with you. Um, because I, I don't think I'm far from being able to ship this software. Now, um, let's get some, uh, uh, I can't even think of the phrase. But let, let's get some, um, understand some scope, right, what, what this is going to be good for and what it's not, okay. I am not trying to compete with Autopano video, okay, the stitching software. I'm, I'm talking about like Giga, which is their rocket science, and same with Video Stitch. Oh, well, less so, actually, no, 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 forget Video Stitch. I'm, I'm more concerned about it because they use PT GUI. It's actually the, so the PT GUI and, and Autopano Giga, I can't compete with them because they are rocket science. They take a whole lot of cameras and they look at the, the video signals and the pictures and they go, oh, I'll put it together like that. <laughs> I can't compete with that. That's way over my head. However, I work on a kind of a, a Nokia way to do with point clouds. And um, so basically I know where the cameras are. I know which way they're pointing, etc., etc. Uh, and I'll just stitch them together. So, what you're going to see is um, my first attempt. And you know, I'm not I'm not calling this a finished product, okay? Economical, but not finished. And the idea of this is, it's going to allow you to stitch in real time, either record it or um, stream it. Now, it's more important is the streaming side, and that's what I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you this now. Now, do bear. Do bear in mind that, as I said, now if you're coming here expecting my stitching to be better, better than um, Auto Pano, to be fair, what you're going to see is probably as good as when I chuck it into Auto Pano on its own and it just figures it out. So it's you know without any corrections. Um, and I will over time I will improve on this. But I I, I you know if you can um, look at this and use your imagination, uh, I think most people should be fairly impressed with this, and I do hope so. And if not, um, Okay, let me know, but I, I, I'm not got the thickest skin in the world. But anyway, there you go. So, uh, right, so let's have a look at this. So I'm going to boot up my software. Okay, so this is the control software, which you will probably, a number of you are already using. Um, now, this software is, I will say again, this software is not free. Okay. Uh, my plan is to, especially the initial stages, is to sell the software. Uh, everyone, if you buy one of my rigs, you get this software and you get the control side. You, as long as you bought rig from me or one of my designs, you get the control software. I'll give you a code and you can use it for free. But that doesn't cover, as I've already said, that doesn't cover for the streaming, stitching, and that kind of thing. But that's going to be ninety-nine pounds, all right? 
So which I don't think is too bad. And if you buy if you buy a rig from us, will there will be a discounts as well. So it's going to be even cheaper. But bearing in mind, you're I'm going up against systems that costing three, two, three, five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds. All right, I don't think that charging a hundred pound for this stuff is going to be a killer. So anyway, um, right. So here you see. So let's. I'm going to do this on the duet now, just to show you. Um, again, I'm going to get up. This is what's filming it. Okay, it's a little duet, two cameras on it. And it's just, I, I can't, my camera can't see it, but it's literally just there. You're going to see it anyway. Right. So, first thing you do is we've got to select the uh, the duet camera. I click on that. Now, it's now ready. So, it's actually saying, okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, do, you want me to, to, to? Do you want me to start recording the video? I can switch it to photo and take a photograph. Um, but no, I want to click on this new button. Now, um, anyone who's got software at the moment hasn't seen this button. This is the stream panel. Now what it's showing at the moment is it's showing uh, a photograph that was taken, the previous photograph. Now, can you see that stitching, right? It's uh, a bit rough, isn't it? Can you see that stitching? Now I've, I've, I've actually saved my settings. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show now, press the button, I'm going to load my, my settings. Bang, there you go. Is that better? So you can see it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Right, if I if I turn it around now, there is still there's still issues I've got to work on. Can you see that it's pulled in? Okay, and it's stored. All right, now I'm going to put this into equi rectangular, so you can see this. Now this is as I said, this is a photograph. Okay, now let's get interesting. Let's turn on stream. Now let's move it around. Now you can see me. Now, bear in mind this is I, I, I'm recording and everything doing this at the same time. But can you see? <laughs> and there is a delay. This is a delay, but let me just show you this. This is quite good fun. I'm going to go up around here. Watch my hand disappear into the next. Yeah, can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> let me walk around the back. If I walk around the back here, I'm quite close. Can you see that? Right. Now that's an equi rectangle. Let me just do that again so you can see. Can you see? And, and now you can even adjust it even more. Now, what I've got here is um, tools. So when you want to adjust it, all you have to do is you press. Uh, well, there's a, an F1 keys to control one camera. So if I press F1 and I can move that camera, can you see it's changing? It's actually what it does is it, it zooms zooms in and out. Okay, see that? And then I can switch to the. Oh, I can also twist it. Can you see it twisting? This is how you adjust the lens settings. Now, there is still a lot of work to be done on this, okay? So it's not finished by any means. Okay, so I'm still working on this. But now if I want to, oh no, it's rubbish. Let me just put it back the way it was, press F6, and it'll bring back the last good settings I had. So as you can see, right? So now you wouldn't normally move this around, but as you can see, yeah? Now, bear in mind, I am also recording this, etc., etc. So I'm doing all kinds of things at the same time. But basically, this is then ready to go out, and you can put this out on, onto the web. Now, still got words to do, but I just wanted to give you a feel for where I am. The, the it's dark behind because I've got a big light studio light here, which is light in this area. So yes, it's dark over there. Um, but hopefully, you can see. Okay, and I can also I can twist it up and down if I want to. Right now, there's still work to be done. Okay, there is still work to be done. Um, but uh, I, I, I thought it was worth showing. In fact, if I open this door up, you can see the door swings over there and comes over there. And again, I, uh, I've got adjustments. It's not perfect, but the biggest problem I had it was um, uh, it's now fixed. If any of you saw this the other day, um, you'll remember that down here it was all like angled all over the place. It was that was the mathematics I was struggling with. But so now I, I'm here. Um, this is the stage I'm at. I could do it more lightly. Let's open the curtain. That helps. Right. Let's open the curtain. That's better. Right. So you got light in here now. Um, so yeah. I uh, hope you. Um, I hope you like that. Um, now I, I I'm going to put this up. Um, I'm also going to do some more fine tuning um, because obviously, I mean, you could just stick this straight into um, into a headset and be able to see it. Um, so, or basically, I mean, you know, you 
it's not let's go back into it again right so you can see i mean this would be the the, the view you would get all right let me pull that back in load my settings bang there you go so that's what you see now you'll notice yes there is a little bit of a curve still i've still got some tweaks to do but basically i think i made a bit of a breakthrough and, I, and i'm actually got quite pleased with this um so hopefully you are as well okay um there'll be more soon uh now bearing in mind um f i know people are going to turn this back on again people are going to ask uh when's this coming for the uh brahma six and seven that's probably not going to happen I'll, and i'll explain the reason why um what what this does is not gonna twisted it because i'm done both at the same time um what this does is uh it has to get the data into the system really quick um and um it's doing it by wi-fi at the moment so it can only bring in about three wi-fi streams at a time now i will be building a machine that will be able to do this now what you're i'm working with here is each camera over wi-fi is doing 1280 by 960 so it's two cameras of that so it's giving me about a 2k roughly 2k resolution but i can do it with um two usb cables plugged in going into the pc okay um, and that gives me 1920 by 1440 each, which is about 3K, something like that. Um, so it's not quite, it's not 4K yet. Okay, you're not paying four or five grand for it, ten grand, whatever. You're not paying all that money. Um, so uh, we're talking about with software, probably 500 pounds. Um, that's that's the kind of play, price I'm aiming for uh, because I obviously want everyone to be able to afford this. I mean, that's been the game, that's been the game plan right from the beginning. So um, there you go. Uh, I'll come back with more soon. And don't worry, it's a bit twisted because I was mucking about with it earlier, and I've twisted it all around a bit. But yeah, so hopefully, um, just just to remind you. I think it's going to sign up. <laughs> I quite like this. I must go in next camera. <gasps> <Ta -da. laughs> yeah, little things please little minds. Anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and um, thanks very much.